our part five of our composite solid volume series. Here we're looking at, let's see, we have kind of a strange looking diagram. All right, if we zoom in on this a little bit, we can see that even though it's uh, a little bit grainy, you can hopefully see that we have a rectangular prism, sort of like a tissue box thing. And then this thing inside, this cylinder, is removed from the rectangular prism. It's actually taken out of the rectangular prism. So just like in number in video number four, what we're going to do here is we're going to find the volume of the rectangular prism and subtract the volume of the cylinder, right? The thing that's in the middle here. We're going to take that out. So here we go. Let's find the volume of the prism first. Rectangular prisms are the really easy volume, right? Length times width times height. So it's 10 times 14 times 12. 10 times 14 times 12. And we're going to subtract the volume of the cylinder. Cylinder volume pi r squared h pi r squared. Let's see. I think if you see if we zoom in on that again, you can see the radius right there is two, and the height of this thing, the height of the cylinder, which is right here, is exactly the same height as the box that it's located within, which is twelve. So we go 2 squared times 12. So we're just going to take this thing minus this thing. So here we go. 10 times 14 times 12 minus, let's see, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 12 is 48 times pi. So I get 1529.204. 1529.204 is the volume of the total thing. The volume of the entire prism with the cylinder removed. Okay, next up. Last one here. We have pretty interesting shape here. We have three things to sort of negotiate. This is going to be an addition problem. We have a cone plus a cylinder plus a hemisphere. Okay, so here we go. We've got, let's do cone first. We'll do volume of the cone. One third times pi r squared h is equal to one third times pi radius. Uh, okay, let's see. The radius of the cylinder is 85, which means the radius of the cone is 85. Same thing there. So that's 85 squared. And the height of the cone is 96. So we're going to add that to the volume of the cylinder. Volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times h. Radius is the same, of course. Height's not the same, though. The height in this cylinder is 132. In other words, it's taller, quite a bit taller than the cone that sits on top of it. And then we're finally, we're going to add the volume of the hemisphere. It's half of a sphere. Uh, half of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed over 2. And that's equal to, when you simplify it, 2 thirds pi r cubed. And the radius of that, of course, is 85 to the third power. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this plus this plus this. And I'm going to put them into my calculator all at the same time. Make things very easy for myself. Let's move this over a little bit, and we have, here we go, big calculation coming. One-third times pi 
times 85 squared times 96 plus pi times 85 squared times 132 plus two thirds pi times 85 to the third power. We're going to go to our math menu, go down to the third option, press enter, check it over, make sure we haven't made any mistakes before we get our final answer. One third pi 85 squared 96 plus pi 85 squared 132 plus two thirds pi times 85 to the third power. Looks good. Real big number. Uh, what is that? Five million 8,693, 5,008,693, and some decimals, 527. So that is the volume of the entire thing. That's quite a calculation right there. So that concludes our volume of composite solids uh, five part video. Volume is the easier of the two calculations. Uh, in other words, when we get to surface area of all these same types of composite solids, it gets a way more difficult, way more difficult. So in the next set of videos, we'll be tackling those problems.